Hola mis amigos and possible amigas, my name is Taffrey 16 welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Scott Squad. Well first off, this is a channel points request uh, by Dearden, thank you Dearden for using your points on this. Scott Squad is a Scottish television mockumentary series about a fictional Scottish police force. That sounds fun. Show has gone 6 series so far, 31 at total episodes. The 6 series started in January of this year. Um, so, here's the thing about this. We are going to start today, some of you might like this, some of you might not. Uh, we're going to start today with the first episode of Series 5. Why are we starting that late? Well, it's not that episodes of the show aren't available online. They are. But a lot of them, even on Daily Motion, are either in really shitty quality or slowed down. Which is strange to me, considering I checked the copyright in this, and it, it seems like it can go on YouTube no problem. So I'm not sure why you just, I guess it's just not got uh, enough of an internet base that people want to upload quality episodes. I don't know, but... The episode I have that Rob got for me is in pretty good quality, and to be honest, it might end up being the best full episode, the best quality full episode uploaded on YouTube or Daily Motion when I upload this. Because seriously, I could not find this in anything higher than maybe 480p, and the ones I could were slowed down. So, if you want me to do earlier series, and if we end up doing more of this, and you want me to do earlier series in the future. Uh, I can look harder, or I can just tell Rob to look harder. <laughs> um, but for now, we're gonna do this. Behold! This emergency, how can I be of assistance? Of quality. Five years since its inception. Police! Police! Open up! Oh, just one at a The unified Scottish police force hey, keep waging their endless war on crime. Got oh, okay. Okay. No! <laughs> Under increasing pressure, battling dwindling resources. The force is working harder like than crazy. ever. I've been stabbed by a granny! Keeping the streets safe, there is nowhere the kings of chasing the outlaws won't go. I'm not scared of heights, I just don't like them. Let's In play the pursuit of justice, they protect the living and the dead. Oh, let's give me the heebie jeebies, man. From city to countryside. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hardened criminals face the stiffest sentences. Charlie, it's a penis. That's realistic. Yeah. This is Scott Squad. People should be allowed to pee in cafe toilets without buying anything. There's I a agree. new man in the chief's chair. Harry Cope's been dropped in to mop up a scandal, act like bleach, and clean up the coughs. A veteran of high command at the Met in London. Too tasty a morsel for the Scottish police to turn down. I am the cake, and you can eat me. The new chief's turning up to. the heat, so the crooks get out the kitchen. I think I'm here to drive through some changes, get the, the police force back in a more professional footing. I think we've all read the headlines in the newspapers. We're all aware of what's happened. There was a fake shake sting operation. And I think it's very clear to see that Mikkelsen has been caught with his pants down. Impress. But between you and me, this whole unified Scottish police force is a f shambles. Honestly, listen, they'll be back to the regions before you know it. In the meantime, I've got a paper over the cracks. Shambles. Listen, it's perfectly legal. It's not. It's not tax avoidance. You're just. It's a legitimate way to reduce your tax bill. Yeah, oh, you just, you put money in films and then they write off what, what you've put in against the film. Totally above board. I've got money in Braveheart 2, 3 and 4. Uh, Robert the Bruce versus the yeah, Spider I mean, Zombies. That was a cracker. And ah, yeah. thing as I say, film. totally like legal. There's is no it? denying this is a tragedy for Mickelson, but it is a positive step forward for the police force, for the general public. And let me tell you something. There's a new sheriff in town, and that sheriff is me. Death. In the urban concrete playground, nothing gets past the force when things get hairy. This might seem extreme, but you could have a razor blade in there. Called out to a break-in at an industrial unit, these frontline officers are on the front foot. The party room. Oh, Jack! Oh, shit! Oh! We gave chase, the, the gentleman he sprinted into. The assault course, obviously that's somewhere I feel is my environment. 
obviously have been regularly scouted by the SAS. We should probably point out that it wasn't an assault course, it was um, a kid's soft play area. Yeah, those are, those are right, over the little disgusting. Bridge. I hope they cleaned it. Slalom through! There. Come on, Jack, you can do it! What's Oof. wrong with it? It was built for five-year-olds. Sarah! Jack, are we a bit quicker? Go? Right. But, you know, it was, it was built for like hundreds of five-year-olds, so it was huge. Sarah is such a tiny, tiny wee tube. I think it's made for babies. Went up pretty high. <laughs> I'm not scared of heights, I just don't like them. There's a difference. Same. Again, that's an environment thing that you don't get phased. Three, two, one, go! Where is he? Obviously, he wanted to get away from me because he knew that like, he was in danger. Right, up this way! Up. I've been that way before! And then he threw himself off uh, an incredibly high height. Just keep that, mate, mate! Jay! Jay! Which I'm straight after him. <laughs> you know, you don't think about these things, it's all in the moment. You just go for it. Mate, come on, Jack! Oh, come on! Go down a slide! You, you think after and go, wow, I put myself through a lot of danger there. Yeah. But that's, that's the job. Where's your name? time! Just take a deep breath. Three, two, one! That's... Come on! Nice. We apprehended the criminal at the bottom of the slide. Do you think that's how I want to die? In a soft play chasing a plum like oh, you? That. Eh? And we got Jack outside for some fresh air. And... Right, and catching criminals and taking scum off the street like that is very rewarding. In this case, we also got our own reward. The oh, manager gave us both. Yes, well. Nice. Thank you. Cheers. Those look sick. Look at those cups. I don't get one. Bad boys don't get slushies, my friend. Yeah. He challenged the cop Asshole. to the big slide. Now he's banged up in the big hoose. <laughs> the Scottish police force go the extra mile to keep Scotland's roads extra safe. One, two, three. I'm, I'm, no, the fear. last time I'm a fan, I looked up after, but I swear to God, that's And they get into gear Play fast when a couple of joyriding carjackers are dead wrestler. in their sights. I swear that's him. Charlie, when in control, we've located the stolen house. I heard oh, he wasn't wrestling anymore. Over. I didn't know he was doing this. Himself was Unless loaded. it's someone who it looks exactly like uh, him, that's body, definitely him. The coffin, the full shooting match. I've never seen a hair go that fast. But hey, oh, hey, it's a dead end. They get a bolt. They get a bolt. You ready? I'll eh? get him. They drop the hair off. They go out of the oh, car. They, they evacuated they and they ran up the hill. Oh! Oh! Come on, McCarthy. Come on. My first priority was to make sure that the, the hair was safe mm. with the body intact. Oh! Okay, yees! Have you got the keys? Well, that's something at least. That's somebody's body, I know, too. Guy will be spinning his grave. Oh, well, he's not in it. Yeah, yet. that is. Well, that is great. I knew it. Look at that. Not seen a name like that before. I don't think that's his name, mate. Is it no Polish or something like that? Gunto, Gunto. Boys have messed up and look, there's other flowers. Oh, They've taken the letters, mixed it that's up. That's not right. That's what all done. Those fuckers. Do you think it's late for his funeral? Well, it's never late for your own funeral, right? Well, this one is. Well, we're gonna have to get it back. Uh, there you go. No chance. I'm not driving a hearse with a body on it. What if it opens up? <laughs> How's it gonna open up? The person's dead. Well, they better be dead. Well, we can't <laughs> leave that name there. Oh, hear that creak. Well done. Well done. There you go. Right. Well. There you go, sir. We'll get you back where you belong. Oh. Mm. Just give me the heebie jeebies, man. Oh, no. Police numbers okay. are a concern to me. I want to get boots on the ground. I want to ensure that the tax dollar that, that hey. is... I don't mind me, just carry on. Don't you get comfortable? <laughs> Be very yeah. difficult to get comfortable in this seat. I tell you, there's two big divots where your big fat arse has been sitting. Because you're not staying. Well, we shall see, shall we? Can you make sure yeah. you take what is yours? You have criminal tendencies, as have been I proved. I will be exonerated. Everything I did was above board and legal. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Jane, Captain Tax Evasion. No, OK, I don't know. Pensions, fair enough. Bye, then. Government 
officials are still involved in diplomatic negotiations after a Scottish man was jailed for drug offences in Peru. 29-year-old Robert Muir was arrested when he was discovered riding a llama with 10 kilos of cocaine concealed inside a minion's backpack. Mr Muir denied he was trying to take drugs out of the country. Sarge! Sentenced him to at least 12 years in prison. After oh, what's up? Where you see this? Any other suspects. However, the Peruvian authorities are currently considering an appeal with Mr. Muir's friends and family, hopeful that his conviction can be overturned. Excuse me. I've always seen the appeal of, of shepherding as a profession. I think I bring a lot of transferable skills. I've certainly shepherded a lot of people over the years. Some some specific people have, have helped to find their way around a lot and I've barked at them repeatedly. Oh, Officer Karen! Oh, Bobby! Oh, mm, 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 it's good to be back! I wouldn't advise kissing mm. the... I'm back where I belong. Oh, that's oh, dirty, thank bro. thank you so much. How are you doing? Thank you so much. I'll You're very one. welcome. Are you all right? Oh. You, you didn't treat you too badly? They treated me all right, but see, the Scottish police, they're a hundred times better. And I'm not just saying that to be a sook. Yes, I'm sorry are. that you, oh. you had that situation. It's just been a case of mistaken identity, unfortunately. It took a wee bit of sorting out, but it turned out that somebody else had the same minions rucksack that you'd taken. As <laughs> the long only as difference was 10 kilograms of cocaine. Yeah. As long as you're all right and you're not too badly damaged. Apart from getting put into a Peruvian jail, I enjoyed the holiday. What made you decide <laughs> to go to Peru, Bobby? You know how Scotland's got iron brew? Yes. We'll see Peru's Iron Brew. It's called Ayahuasca. So I signed up to like an Ayahuasca retreat and I went into the heart of the Peruvian jungle. I basically just lay in a cave for 12 days tripping. Right. <laughs> oh, and I got you a present as well. I'm, I'm happy to have helped because I wouldn't want to see an innocent person spending time in a Peruvian jail. To be honest, the Ayahuasca was scarier than the jail. Ainsley Harriet came to me in a vision right and he's like, ah, Thanks for being a fan. His head was massive as well, and he had this wee tiny white cap on, and I was like, ah, your hat's too wee for you, Ainsley. And he's like, ah, do you like omelettes? And I was like, ah, to be honest, it's roasting here, mate. But <laughs> I, it's Ainsley Harriet. Obviously, I'm going to eat an omelette, isn't I? Yeah. The thing is, Bobby, yeah. it was nice to see you on the news, but it's nicer to see you back home in person. I'm glad to be back, and I'm actually going to go away for a sausage supper. It's about appreciating things that I enjoy now. Well, you have a good day. Right, thanks a lot for getting us a, basically a life sentence. You're um, welcome. See you later, right, Officer Karen? Bye. See you later, She was like, oh, fuck that guy. The brave traffic officers take the hearse to the relieved grievers so the deceased can finally RIP in peace. <laughs> <laughs> this is our uncle, my uncle. Uncle Toby. He's all right. Well, well, he's dead. Unfortunately, still dead. Tell you, you've got to look on the bright side at least to get one. We could run about the streets, you know. Uh, we should be going. Yeah, you get out of there. A little bit freaky driving about a, uh, a hearse. I'd imagine. Ah, uh, it was a freak. I was feeling kids was going to end up popping out and saying hello, but honestly. Drag him away. Again, thank you. Uncle Toby was late for his own funeral, but at least we got him there. We yeah. never missed it. <laughs> it was all smiles at the end. Rest in peace, Toby. Poor Toby. Scotland is famed for its beautiful and bonny countryside, so any eyesore quickly falls under the eyes of the Scottish oh, no. police force. Well, that is something else. Lots of local farmers take part in. That's not a penis, YouTube. It's just barrels. Which is all very well and good, but if that starts to infringe on public safety, then we have to be there to police that as well. That is clearly unsafe. Yeah, we're going to need I mean, to have a little word. Delicious, but. Delicious. Charlie. Marshmallows, you know. Charlie, it's a penis. Ah, uh, yes, it's marshmallows. What? A massive big penis. No, marshmallows. Oh, my. I YouTube. don't believe YouTube, it. YouTube, it's marshmallows. It's pretty realistic. That's realistic. Yeah. It was quite offensive to Charlie well, for many haunt reasons. Haunting. Haunting. That's the <laughs> word I would use. Well, that's, that's unsettling. The main problem was that the structure was completely unsound because everyone knows you can only have three bales high. This structure had four. I'll just get a little picture. Yeah, no, yeah. please. It might just be useful to have, for height, you in the picture. Really? Yeah. Is it necessary? Oh yeah. my God. Charlie's dick pic. 
Oh, come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've just posted it up to the office just what? so they can no. see. <laughs> just so they know that we're dealing with it, yeah. I think we need to have a word with the only man whose dick this could be. Oh, that's Murphy Williams dick for sure. Yes. Oh, don't want to clip the testicle. <laughs> Having been exonerated by nice. the official inquiry, the suspended chief speaks from the heart and shares his pain, his hopes, and his dreams. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I would just like to issue a short statement. I'm sorry. Sorry if things got a little bit braggadocious on the tape, but it was just a little bit of to and fro between the chief and the sheikh chief. As for the tax matter, I am voluntarily and happily in discussion with the Inland Revenue. I imagine it will involve some topping up. But once again, I apologize. I've served as your chief for now on five years. And I've loved every minute and I have worked hard as chief and I hope to be chief again one day. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Ah, I get fucked. Embarrassing. <laughs> Got me my job back. Skedaddle. Yeah. By the no. skin of your teeth, Mickelson. Skin of your teeth. Skedaddle, mofo. <sighs> that was easy. Only took about 15 minutes. Jane! Where's the seat work? Jane! The professionalism of the Scottish police force takes the breath away. Sorry, your, your, your car's in the river. The cool crew have helpful <laughs> advice for the public and they won't swallow a dodgy deal. Everyone wants something for nothing, you know, and that's why a lot of people have these boxes that give you free TV channels. Mm. Now, these are illegal, so when they stop working, as they often do, there's not anything we can do about it. Oh, you could maybe try paying for it, like the Got rest him. of us do. Well, there's no need for that kind of language, and I'm going to have to terminate the call. Prick. I really do sympathise <laughs> for these people because they've paid decent money for something that doesn't work, but we are all at the mercy of the Hollywood fat cat who doesn't want us to watch Jumanji. Back on the trail of the hay bale Banksy, the rural cops dig up a familiar farmer. We had to pay a visit to the owner of the hay bales, and that was, yet again, Murphy, Murphy Williams. Williams. Oh. Murphy, Murphy, Murphy. We have a big problem, <coughs> and I mean big OK, problem. we are here to talk about your penis. It's a belter, isn't it? Not for the first time. He wasn't at all apologetic. It's the, the it's penis of Peter Heed like, you can, that's what I call it. Can, instead of the Angel of the North or the, the Kelpies or that like, you can. Bob Thompson down the road made one, uh, made it look like a train. A train? That was, that's delightful. It, it, You're never going to win it, with that. Oh, never. I am. I've had the women's rural out judging three 90-year-old women. I've been out five times this week looking at that. I'm not a prude. Anyone will tell you that. I've seen at least two Katy Perry music videos. We can't have a massive <laughs> penis in the middle of a field. Take it down Seriously? or change it. Yes. Well, Fair enough. He said to us that he would, in fact, change what structure he had built, which change. was great. Just something more PG, He's at least. Pay I left pay. thinking, great, I've actually got through to him this time. He's the cops go to check its change, but they clock a shocker. You're having a laugh. That better not <laughs> be... <laughs> oh, it says... PC Seriously? Jane McKay. After... It was my face, oh, my, my body, God. on those hay bales. It was was it? Body. It's flattery, I suppose, you know. What, what is flattery? That you can make a big oh, penis yeah, sure into is. me? I don't think it was fair that Jane had been nothing about it converted like from a penis into a person. So no. that's, that's not fair to anybody. You've got a big... Uh, a big what? Personality, and I think he's, he's, he's got that, you know. <laughs> Let's get up to the farm right now, take him down to the station. Charlie! Yeah, ev evidence, yeah. you know, just... Nobody should have to go through that, and especially someone in a position of authority. Yes. <clears throat> but not big enough. Just get in the car. It's the last straw for the cops, and for this filthy crofter, the fine stack up. There's a fine line between art and pornography. A naked yeah. female body shouldn't be disrespected. No, we're all about respect at all times, for all. 
beautiful nudies. Oh shit! So I am now acting sergeant. Nice. Ken Beatty. <laughs> yep, I've had another promotion. Can you believe it? You know, a couple of years ago I was just a lowly volunteer. Now look at me, acting sergeant. Basically, I'm the community police officer. So I'm the face of this community. Any problems, they come to me. I mean, my rise has been absolute meteoric. Which is weird because meteors go down. They crash and burn. That's true, I'm actually. all the way to the top. Police! That's a good, that's a good point, Police actually. open up! Recently, a colleague and me were called out to a possible domestic. Police! What is we happening? eventually managed to get into the house, and what greeted us was a very aggressive woman trying to pump up a paddling pool. Is everything okay? <laughs> okay, with... Right. Can you just calm down? We've had reports of a debate. Ken? Ken? It's me? It's Jubilee! Turns out this aggressive woman was someone who I had had dealings with in the past. Her name is Jamie Lee McGurk. You're looking well, Miss McGurk, actually. Oh, I don't give you shit! Oh, you've lost a lot of weight since I the last... I have lost a lot of weight, but put it back on again, and... Are you pre pregnant? Of course I'm bloody pregnant! C congratulations. Oh, no bother to you. Well, she, she was heavily, heavily pregnant. She was about to give birth. Actually, oh, her, her waters had, before. you know, they'd, they'd flowed. We need to get you to the hospital right now. No, no, I'm not going to any hospital. No bastard hospital for me. I don't like that boot that's the midwife. She's a cow. She says that I can't have an actual birth in a birthing pool. Looked at me like I was a clatty bitch. I'm no clatty. I said, if I am not going to have an actual birth, I am no coming here. I tried to get her to the hospital. She refused. She was determined to have the baby in the paddling pool in the living room. So I went into the and m in my current state, a lad. And I uh, tried to buy one of the hot tubs, you know, <laughs> the hot tubs. That I, I bet they're all out of stock, aren't they? So I went and get this wee paddling pool and I just want an actual birth, but, but the pump's not working. You want to give birth in your house and that? I'd like to a natural birth, Ken. I'm going to be a vegan soon. It's okay. all the rage. So, I stood up to the plate. Can you phone for an ambulance? I am not delivering this baby. No, I went in there and tried to help her. Ken, give me a Ken. Miss McGurk, thank you. Deep breaths, oh, right? Oh. In and out. That's it. In. Out. Oh, you're a my saviour. No. You are my hero. This was thank the last you. time you saved me from the gutter. After much toing and froing and arguing and. Lots of sweat and tears, got the paddling pool filled up and filled with water. She opened her legs. Oh, oh, just, oh, just relax, Miss McGurk, no. relax. Deep breaths in. Out. Oh. In. Out. Oh. OK. Just imagine you're on a beach. Oh, OK. Right. The, the sun's there. The, yeah. Are you there, Ken? Are you there? Yeah, Are you yeah, there? I'm Are you there. sitting beside me? Uh -huh, I'm sitting beside cream on my back. OK, I'll put some cream on your back. Oh, thanks, cos I get burnt all over. In fact, I have to. Yep, that's no, fine. Oh, what can you see? Oh, my God. Oh, what can you see? Uh, there's, there's hair. Uh, yeah. That looks like your delivered, Man, they didn't allow me to go to sex education classes. <laughs> I wish you did. I had no idea what went on down there. Just making this last bit of you, Daddy. Okay. Count with me. Ten. Nine. Count with me. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. seven six. Oh, f*** yeah. 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 Nice. Look at my beautiful baby. She gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. It was a genuinely one of the nicest moments I've ever had in this job. Is it? Hello, Jacob. You saying hello to your Uncle Ken? Some shifts are more momentous than others. I'm reminded of those immortal words. With the Who's sun your rolling Who's high. The dad? On a sapphire sky. It's a circle of life. And it moves us all. Wait a minute. <laughs> that is the circle of life. And it does move us all. How <laughs> enjoying those cartoon jungle animals. <laughs> They never said a truer word. 
The modern world needs modern policing. Yes, and it does. Scotland's Remote Investigations Division has an almighty algorithm for tracking down all sorts of crooks. The oh, amount yeah. of pubes we have now in the pubes database is unbelievable. When it comes to catching Excuse criminals me. online, the Scottish Police Force uses the smartest of cookies. My job keeps getting easier and easier, almost daily, because it's harder and harder for criminals to cover their own tracks, you know, social media, search history, stuff like that. Uh, for example, we've got this fella here. This is Albert McKinstry. Oh, Lord. An absolute wrong -in. He was accused of extortion, took a photo of his neighbour, his next-door neighbour, in a place where he shouldn't be, namely a brothel. Naughty neighbour, shouldn't have mm. been there. But we accused him of extortion. He denied it, of course he did. You know, it was just his word against ours. He was acting alone. But he was also acting alone at his house when he searched for the phrase, easy crimes for cash. He also Googled, <laughs> need money in a hurry. He was even on the Wikipedia page for extortion, like he didn't really know what it meant. He asked Alexa, he said, hey Alexa, how do you blackmail someone? He had it coming. At this rate, I'll be going part time, because I'm largely playing solitaire back there. There's not much for me to do. Any idiot could catch this guy. He could probably catch himself, and he is an absolute clown. Damn. <laughs> The Scottish Police Force CID may see new faces on new media, but they still value old school justice. Yeah. As modern policewomen, we are using modern techniques. Cybercrime is on the increase, and we are really having to crack down. At the moment, we're investigating a young girl called Jenny Baxter. That's right. And she's her own YouTube channel, and it was brought to her attention. You know, she does these beauty tutorials. I am the beauty lifter, and today we are going to focus on contouring. Yeah, What's contour? that? Contouring. So contouring is when they highlight up there, and then they do the, the low light there. There's nothing wrong with that. That is not a crime. But then at the end of this tutorial, she was basically telling people how to shoplift. I really wanted to give you some top tips that I found recently for getting your beauty products and just not paying for them. Oh, oh no paying for did your Did she just say that? Yeah, she did. Oh, I'm just sure her. Make sure that you're buying tampons, sanitary pads, right? Put your lipsticks, lip gloss, <gasps> nail polish, everything right So she's the actually Listen to her, pulling out the fanny pads two. and putting the lipsticks in the no, box. She and she's got all the ages following her, telling them exactly how to shoplift it. Mind you, she does look really good, doesn't she? Oh, no. Sister, borrow them. Oh, she's, she's going just going jail, woman. She's a witch. With such a large following, the influence that she has over that amount of people, you know, she's just creating criminals everywhere. So we're on our way uh, to pay Jenny Baxter a wee visit. Could you please accompany us down to the station just now? We'd like to ask you about your YouTube channel. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. I'll okay. just get my bag. Uh, is that it just there? Yeah. Would you mind if my colleague gets it? Get it for you. Okay. Oh, that goes with your shirt, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the chat. Right. right. I mean, sorry, look at her skin. It is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, thanks. It's really nice. It's kind of glowing, isn't it? Right. Well, I've got quite a lot of highlighter on the day. Like, What's so that? Just, well, it's like, kind of makes you shine, so Aye. it like brings my face up a wee bit. So just put it on like, under my eyes and but stuff. Some folk can overdo it and they look a wee bit like the Tin Man, but you've got that, Aye. I think you've got that spot I was going to say, I don't want to be rude, but you do look a wee bit Tin Man-y there. I don't know what that is. Well, I, that? that's like me contouring my nose, because I don't like shaping my nose. So you just put like brown bits here and then like, a wee bit of orange and just shape it round and then put a wee bit of highlighter there. Do you think I could do that? I think you could, you I. Jenny Baxter, aka the beauty lifter, yep, was found guilty. We were really delighted <laughs> with the outcome of that. Oh, yeah. um, we feel that not only have we took one criminal off the street, obviously Jenny giving, you know, tips on how to shoplift, she influenced so many people. I have to interject, can see why they followed her, she is amazing, her tutorials are amazing. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I think a lot of people do <laughs> take her skills on board, you know, and her tips and people try them out at home. So another arrest for us, you know, it can only make us look good or even better. Let's put it that way. The camera loves this YouTube tube, but the judge didn't. So her next pose was for her mugshot. Ah! Reinstated, the chief reiterates his modus operandi. It's a very nuts and bolts question, but what is the purpose of the police? Well, I saying, well, to police, that's surely your purpose, but that's very broad. You know, we need to tell the public exactly what our purpose is. And exactly. uh, there are some suggestions that it should maybe be crime-free Scotland. You can see that, but that's, that's setting the bar very high. True. Isn't it no crime at all? I mean, that's not gonna happen. That's like, you know, Davey from the canteen saying, I'm going on a date with Scott Johansson. It's a non-starter. Not that one. Damn. Uh, cherish the common good. It's kind of got the, the waft of joss sticks about it, you know? Yeah. I feel I could have seen that on the 
on the bedroom wall, uh, you know, John and Yoko and the Amsterdam Hilton. And I don't think or that and sits Jockey. well uh, with the police force. So I don't think it'll be that. This could be our purpose, improving safety, security and well-being all over Scotland. That's pretty good. You see? Now, that's vague enough and it gives us enough wriggle yes. room should everything go belly up. Yes. But it that's also has my favourite word of all time. Improving, because that covers a lot of ground improving. It does, yeah, you, that's pretty good. Reach your targets. Well, we're improving. Yeah, what are you up to today? We're improving. Before the select committee, how's it going? Very good, we're improving. And when you take a backward step, it's okay, we'll improve on that. So, that's <laughs> the police force's purpose. Improving safety, security and well-being all over Scotland. That's pretty good. And I am very, very proud of that purpose. Now I know what our purpose is. Fantastic. You know, that's crazy. I knew that, I heard that Grado had gotten out of wrestling uh, a couple years ago, like full time. I didn't know what he was doing, though. I didn't know it was this. That's pretty cool, honestly. I, I mean, he's he's a pretty good actor. I didn't know I didn't know this is what he had gotten into. That was really fun. Mockumentary series like that are really fun. Is that the um, third police mockumentary we've done on the channel? We've done Finn Blue Line. Uh, we did Touch a Cloth. We did this. Did we do something like this recently? I almost feel like we did a police mockumentary recently. But I can't think of Maybe I was just thinking. Maybe it's because we were talking about Finn Blue Line uh, recently. And, and that's why I thought that. But I feel like we, we did some kind of mockumentary thing recently. Hmm, I don't know. And then, um, of course, uh, I, I guess... Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's the only three. Finn Blue Line, Touch of Cloth. Unless, I, unless I'm just completely forgetting one. Yeah. I mean, it's, Johnny English is a movie. But, I mean, we did that. So I guess that counts in... In some sense. Maybe, maybe it's because we did the day today. That was a news mockumentary. That, that, that counts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to see more in the future, I'll see if I can find episodes. <laughs> or if Rob can find episodes. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I enjoyed Scott Squad a lot, though. I hope you did as well. And if you want to see more, let me know. Thank you again, Dearden, for using your points on this. And that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel for recent reviews, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, or my Daily Motion, all the things are in the description down below. Thank you to all, as I'm currently recording, 81 of my Patrons for your support me on my channel. For those of you who don't know, Excuse me. You can be a patron on me for as low as one dollar or one pound. And you get access to direction videos as well as reading comments up to a day early. And you get your name and description as well. Also, the description is linked to the community rate as well as the daily schedule as well as the Twitch VODs channel. For that being said, though, my name is Noah Tav Tav. This has been my reaction to Scott Squad, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.